Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to teach you guys how to make some organic cleaner. So as you can tell right here that I am getting low on my cleaner and it's very simple to make. I don't like a lot of harsh chemicals in my house so I make this stuff all the time. It's good for your house, it's good for your animals, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make it. So I have two jars. I have an old pickle jar. And then I have a small little mason jar. I have vinegar right here. It's just regular distilled vinegar. And then I just have some water and some pure castile soap right here. <clears throat> and the last things I have, I have two oranges and I have two lemons. So the first thing I am going to do is open up these jars. Get that out of the way so you guys can see. So open, open. So I'm going to put the oranges into the big jar and we're going to use the lemons into the little jar. So let's start with the oranges first. So I'm going to take off the little sticky stickers. And what I'm going to do is I am going to zest this just like you would an orange. And I'm going to place them inside the jar. I use this stuff all the time, constantly. Because I don't like, especially like around my birds, I don't like harsh chemicals because it can kill them. So, and I don't really want to kill my birds. So... There is that, and I want all this um, orange zest right here, so I am going to peel it all off. And I just realized with the vegetable peeler, it's just a lot more easier. So there is one, and as you can see here, it's all inside the jar. So let's move on to the other one. So the first thing I am going to do is open up these jars. Get that out of the way so you guys can see. So open, open. So I'm going to put the oranges into the big jar and we're going to use the lemons into the little jar. So let's start with the oranges first. So I'm going to take off the little sticky stickers. And what I'm going to do is I am going to zest this and I'm going to place them inside the jar. I use this stuff all the time, constantly. Because I don't like, especially like around my birds, I don't like harsh chemicals because it can kill. No, there's nothing better to me than making things from scratch myself. I rather make it and then ever <laughs> buy it from the store. So the next thing we're going to do is I have a piece of my food processor right now. I'm just going to put the blade in it and I'm going to put it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these in half and throw these in the food processor. I'm going to take all this and I am just going to pour the pulp in next. As I make a mess everywhere. I'm going to add a little bit of pure castile soap 
just a tiny little bit. I just got to take the cover off of it. And you only need like a squirt, literally a squirt. So next is the vinegar. And I'm just going to fill this up a quarter full. Maybe half full actually. Yeah, half full. Like that. And then the rest is just water. There you go. And then I'm going to stir it. Make sure it's all incorporated. And then I'm just going to cover it up. And I am going to put this, leave it out on the counter for about eh, two weeks. And by then it all gets marinated and it works brilliantly. So all I do to make this is when I when I want to put this in a jar, when I want to put this in a jar, I just use a colander and I strain it out and I fill my bottle. And it's that simple. So next we're going to make the lemon one. So the same thing, we're just going first take the stickers off. lemon zest and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm gonna cut it up now this one I don't want the curry mix in it so I'm gonna find a container or a bowl right here to get all the juices out. The oranges you do, the lemon you don't. Just remember that. And squeeze all that through. There is your juice right there. And pour that in. And then the same thing with that tiny little dab of soap. You don't need a lot with the soap. Half vinegar. Half water. And then you put the lid on it. And there you go right there so this is one that I've had sitting probably about a month it's been sitting as you can tell the colors are much different on this but this is super strong and super potent oh yes it is but this stuff cleans so so well if you guys like this video of me teaching you guys how I make my homemade cleaners yes it takes a little bit of time but you know what it's worth it. it's worth to your family it's worth to your health it's worth it for your pets well I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video I hope you guys have a wonderful and magical day bye guys <laughs>